CapCut Edit Tutorial. What we're going to do today is the broken hand run. Okay, I'm going to go through these five steps. Step number one, we're going to shoot the video. Alright, here are three tips to shoot this video. I recommend shooting indoors instead of outdoors. So when I shoot outdoors, there's some lighting issue. The light in the background keeps changing. Second tip is, look, when you shoot yourself, this is a vertical video. Make sure you occupy half the screen and the hand is occupying the other half. Do not overlap each other. The third tip is the space for the hand to run. Make sure that it occupies one third of the screen. The, the three tips that I gave you is where to shoot, how you position yourself. Now the next thing is what to shoot. You're going to shoot three different layers. The first clip will be empty background. Nobody there. About, about 10 seconds. Then the next clip is shoot your hand holding onto the railing and then it breaks and run away. Okay, that's the second recording. Third recording, shoot yourself trying to pull the railing. Pull, pull twice and pretend that your hand broke off and then look at your hand running away. Chapter 2. Start a new project. Open CapCut. Tap on CapCut. Alright, tap on new project. To, op to start a new project. you see your gallery. The second shot is the good one. So I'm going to select the second shot. How do you select? Select by pressing this circle here. Okay, next tap on add. Okay, I'm going to tap on add. So we will bring that clip into the timeline. Next chapter is Let's do the background layer. I've, since I've shot them in, uh, in one go, so I'm going to use a split function to separate my first layer. Select the clip and tap on split. Okay, so that's the empty layer. Chapter 4. Let's edit the person layer. Okay, this is the hand layer. Let me split the hand layer first. The hand will cover the camera and then I will, I will do a split here split. The third act is the person act. We need the person clip to go down into the next layer. So the command is here. Select the person clip and look for the command called overlay. Okay, tap on overlay. That will bring the person clip down to the next layer. What we do next is we're going to bring the person layer, drag it to the front we're going to drag the person layer to the front so that it starts from the beginning. We are now going to edit the person layer. I'm going to remove his hand. Let's find a part where I start pulling up. Okay, somewhere here. Okay, let me expand the timeline because this is going to be very fine editing. Okay, expand the timeline until I can't expand anymore. Now I'm looking for the part where my hand break and pop. Okay, here. Here the hand is supposed to break. Okay, here I'm going to split the person clip, select and split. Okay, we are going to make the hand invisible now. Okay, there are two methods we can use, green screen or masking. But now we are using the masking method. Okay, I need my playhead to be right at the beginning of this second half. Okay, I'm going to tap on the second half. So that will bring the playhead to the second half, beginning of second half. And I'm going to introduce a keyframe. The diamond here is the keyframe. I'm going to tap on the keyframe. Okay, you can see a diamond inside here, a red diamond. So now I am going to introduce a mask. Okay, I'm looking for mask tool below. And there you go, the mask tool. I'm going to tap on the mask tool. I would like to choose a rectangle mask. Okay, select rectangle mask. I want the hand to be invisible, so I have to invert this. The invert command is on the bottom left hand side. Okay, tap on invert. The purpose of the mask is to see through to the first layer. That's the meaning of mask. I'm going to resize the mask just to cover my hand. It will break just at the wrist. So adjust it so the square is at the wrist. 
Once that's done, tap the check mark. It's gonna it's gonna move back. Okay, there he move. So before I move, I'm gonna introduce another keyframe. We're gonna animate the mask. The mask is gonna follow my hand. Expand the timeline so that we can have a detailed edit. Now the hand is moving up. One, two. Okay, one, two. Now go back to the mask and follow the hand. Yeah, so now my hand is broken. It's broken. Chapter 5. We're gonna do the hand layer now. Okay, I have three recordings. One is the background layer with nothing. And then the second recording is the person pulling his hand. The third recording is the hand running away. Alright, which is up here. So I'm going to select it and bring it down to the overlay layer. Okay, I'm going to look for the command called overlay. Here, type an overlay. There, it's down there. Okay, so bring the hand, the hand recording to start the same time the hand broke. Okay, align them together. I'm going to isolate the hand. Again, I'm going to use the keyframe. Oh, this is going to be a detailed edit, so I'm going to zoom in a lot. I'm going to expand the timeline. I move the playhead away from the clip so that when I select the clip, boop, the playhead will go right at the beginning of this clip so I can get exactly the beginning of this clip. I'm going to introduce the first keyframe here, the diamond. Tap on the diamond. There you can see the red diamond inside. At this point, I will introduce the mask. In the toolbar below, let's look for the mask tool. Over here, the mask tool. Tap on the mask. Again, let's select the square mask or rectangle mask. Here, rectangle mask. Select rectangle mask. So for this layer, I'm only interested in the hand. Let's let's make this this rectangle smaller to match the hand. Let's cut it at the wrist. Now, if you don't see this, I would like you to do this. Select this clip and then look for the command layer. Layer. Okay, the hand clip should be the latest layer. Okay, I'm moving the timeline. Okay, okay, the hand is letting go of the railing. Just before the hand let go of the railing, I'm going to introduce one more keyframe. The third keyframe onwards follows the animation. Okay, so it lifted up higher. So now, go back to the mask. I'm going back to the mask and lift it higher a bit. Split at this point, split and split. I'm splitting all three. Okay, the first layer delete, second layer delete, third layer delete. Okay, so I'm simplifying your tutorial. Now go back to the beginning of your video, play back, and watch. Okay, good. If you like this video so far, okay, click the thumbs up, share this video with your friends. So if you want the slides, okay, leave a comment below. I will send you the slides. That brings me to the end of the CapCut Edit Tutorial. Mm -hmm.